All right, Leah Hoover says, question, how do you know when you're in love and it's not attachment or the imago? How do you know when you're in love and it's not attachment or the imago? It's very simple. It feels good. It feels good. It feels good. When it doesn't feel good, it's usually something wrong. It could be, it could be the imago. It could be attachment. It could be that they're a narcissist. It could be you're not ready. It could be, you know, it could be issues with you. It could be issues with them. When it doesn't feel good, that's usually your barometer. Now, it's very hard because in the beginning, it always feels good because when you're amped up on lust and limerence and you're all excited and you're amped up on dopamine and testosterone and estrogen, it feels so good. And then you fuck your brains out together and the sex feels great. And then all of a sudden, it stops feeling good. And it's usually not feeling good because you don't share the same values. Your lifestyles aren't blendable. Or worse, the emotional maturity for one and both of you is almost non-existent. In fact, I truly believe that 80% of the single population dating today have weak emotional skills at best. This is one of the reasons why I continually recommend reading two books. To learn how to communicate better, I highly recommend reading the book Nonviolent Communication by Marshall Rosenberg. And then everybody, if you recite after me, before the penis goes inside the vagina, you read the books together, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman, Eight Dates Before the Penis Goes Inside the Vagina. Because ultimately, what causes most relationship distress is that they're not compatible with one another, that are not emotionally mature with one another. And there's usually either one person is, you know, it's interesting. I, I did a po I wrote myself a note here. I want to share this with you. You guys might find this interesting I, because I'm experiencing this myself. I called resistance, resistance. Okay. Resistance. If I'm feeling resistance, it's because either a, I'm picking up on their energy of resistance. I'm going to repeat that. I'm picking up on their energy of resistance. B, um, my gut says we're not a match for one another. My gut says we're not a match for one another. Or I'm feeling fear. I'm feeling fear. And when I'm feeling fear, it means I'm not ready when I'm feeling fear. So resistance is either I'm picking up on their energy. My gut is telling me we're not right. Or I'm feeling fear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one of the three is because the resistance is there, which means take a step backward and look inward within yourself. Take a step backward and look inward in yourself. And so coming back to your question, how do you know when you're in love and it's not attachment? Because it just feels right. It just feels good. And most, by the way, talk to any couple that's been married a long enough time they will tell you it just feels right. And when it feels off, you've got to decide, are you picking up on their energy? Is it your gut talking or is it your own fear, which means you might have to do some work? Great question, Leah. Thank you so much for that one. I really appreciate it.